What's up everyone? It's Coco. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've put together for you guys a Valentine's Day lookbook. So if you're unsure of what to wear for Valentine's Day, don't worry, I got you. I'd also like to mention that pretty much nearly all these outfits have been thrifted. So it just goes to show that you don't have to go ahead and spend a whole bunch of money to look good for Valentine's Day. You can head down to your local thrift store and get you good. Like no joke, about 95% of the stuff in this video is thrifted. Also, I just need to let you guys know to make sure that you click that bell button because I've definitely noticed in 2020 that even I don't even get notifications when people that I'm subscribed to, it just doesn't pop up. So I'm sure it's not happening for you guys as well. So if you haven't, click that bell so you'll know when I'm posting. But if you're interested to see what these looks are like, then keep on watching. Okay, for our first outfit, we've got this new dress with velvet rose detailing on it, which is super cute. I paired it up with these vintage knee-high go-go boots and this Moschino mini biker jacket crossbody. For this one, I really want it to be that contrast of like punk and also pretty. So the pretty and punk, brat style. So for the second outfit, we've got a beautiful red lace dress that laces up on the side as well in that corset style with a beautiful red ribbon. And I've matched that with a red and white baby tee underneath. I just think that's really, really cute. It's that casual, but yet still classy kind of vibe. And I've also wore this with these awesome Unif boots. I love these boots, they're so good. This outfit is probably one of my favorite outfits out of the whole video. It is a vintage denim Playboy dress. I just, I can't believe I found this. And I've paired that with a matching guest handbag and shoes. Yes, those shoes and bag match, like insane. And they were found at different times as well. So massive come up. And on the back as well, you see the bunny ears. So for this outfit, we've got a Betty Boot baby tee. It is just so amazing. I love Betty Boot. And I've paired this with this leather DKNY skirt and that zip goes up and down as well. So you can choose how revealing you want it to be. I've worn this with these red leather, like perforated pointed wrap up heels. Like so cute, very early Gwen Stefani and Rihanna. And we've gone with the Moschino lock bag just for that accent and our trusty studded leather cups. Another one of my favorite outfits for this whole video. We've got this Charlie Brown long sleeve top, so you know it's vintage, and it's got snakes and flowers on it with diamantes on the shoulders, and on the back, you've got tassels. I paired this with a purple magenta corduroy skirt, and these amazing leather vintage cowboy style 90s boots, and also the handbag. This outfit reminds me of Samantha Jones. Like, I think it's just the cut of the pants and the silk, I don't know. But this is totally Samantha vibes in my eyes from Sex and the City. This is so cute. Now you're probably looking at these like they're pajamas. 
there are absolute two set pieces like this that you can wear out um, but these are pajamas but you can dress it up to make it a little bit more outer wear um, I've paired these with these vintage Jante heels if you know anything about Jante's you'll know that they're amazing and on the straps of this top it's got these red diamante hearts and then one heart in the middle and there's also one on the pants as well but you can't see it This outfit is for people that are super bold, like me, and you've got no worries with people staring at you and just feeling amazing. Um, so this jacket is actually a Sesame Street collection jacket. As you can tell, it's why it's so big and puffy, but I've matched this with this cute Tweety Bird slip and the Unif boots again. Like this is total rockstar diva vibes. This is an outfit I'd wear pretty much any day, but it is so suitable for Valentine's Day as well. So we've got another vintage Betty Boop t-shirt and it's got kind of like that uh, graffiti spray paint vibe going on. And she's got black lipstick, so you know I love it. I paired this with a trip vintage skirt with the handcuffs on it, unif boots and alligator cuffs, of course with the eye girl choker because that choker is bomb. This outfit is more on the cutesy side. You could probably switch out the square shoes for a pair of mules and you could wear, wear this around the house and be super cute. Um, I also forgot to uh, steam this dress and I just couldn't be bothered, so sorry about that. But it's this cute baby pink slip dress with cream uh, lace detailing. I've matched this with these gray knee high knitted socks, the vintage swear boots. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And also the plastic pink trunk. Like that trunk is everything. So for this outfit, I was going for a very typical Mary Kay and Ashley outfit back in the day. Obviously, by now you realize I'm a huge Mary Kay and Ashley fan. Um, but yeah, very much that vibe. Also, there is a deodorant stain on the top. I did not notice that until now, which is super sad. Um, I paired this outfit with these really cute baby pink mules and this handbag that has a whole bunch of iconic hearts and like vintage pictures on it. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please let me know down below in the comments section. It helps me out a lot. And it lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content. Also, let me know if you were inspired by any of the looks today. It would be really cute to see if you guys do the outfits, take photos, send them to me. You can do that on Instagram. My Instagram is down below. I also do a lot of interactive things in my Instagram story. So if you aren't following me on Instagram already, go ahead and do that. If you need to update your wardrobe, head over to my Depop. I do specialize a lot in the 90s and Y2K vintage era. Lots of different things, so go check that out.
Also, make sure that you click that subscribe button and the bell to make sure that you know when I'm uploading. I do try and upload every week, but it's just good to know exactly when I'm dropping a video. But I hope you have a good day, good night, good weekends, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. Mwah. Bye, guys.